The Blind Industries and Services of Maryland, otherwise known as BISM, located in Baltimore, provides jobs for persons with visual impairments that would otherwise be unavailable. Employees work to create textiles, paper goods, kits, and other various products. The manufacturing done at BISM helps to fund several education and empowerment services, including job training and a school for persons with visual impairments. One product made by the employees at this institute is the buffer pad. Employees use a mechanical press and a die cast to punch out the buffer pads from a long roll of material. However, this job required an employee to see where to place the die cast to punch out a new buffer pad. Because of this, the individuals with visual impairments at BISM could not perform this job independently and were not allowed by the company to do this task. The device needed to be simple and durable and needed to be simple so a great number of employees would be able to quickly learn how to use it. It also had to be durable to withstand the force of the hydraulic press. We hope that by making the device simple, we could allow a great number of employees to perform a task that they have never done before. Knowing the challenges that the employees who were blind faced, we set out to develop a device that would enable them to perform this task independently and efficiently. The final design of our device consists of two hanging arms, a base, and an interchangeable template with two guides. The two hanging arms allow our device to attach to a metal beam on the hydraulic press. The base allows all the parts of the device to be attached. The template and two guides allow an employee to line up the die cast to the correct position on the material. Anthony is an associate who is blind at BISM who previously was unable to perform the task of creating a buffer pad. By using our device, Anthony was able to figure out where to place the die cast and perform this job with little help from his supervisor. First, Anthony lines up the die cast against the left guide arm and the template and uses the hydraulic press to cut out a buffer pad. Next, Anthony takes the die cast and places it against the right guide arm and template. He uses the press to cut out a second buffer pad. Then, Anthony must pull back the material until the middle gap is flush against the template. He then moves the left guide arm to the right until it hits the middle block on the template. Aligning the die cast against the arms, he cuts out the third buffer pad. Our device improved two aspects of the buffer pad making process. First, it reduced the amount of scrap material produced by this process by about 6%, which is significant to the company's industrial setting. Second, our device allowed people with visual impairments to make buffer pads for the first time in their lives, improving their job variety and their self-confidence. That's not bad. Good job, man. You feel right here, look, feel your waist. Feel how much a little bit in between and everything? So that's... So, so, so Fisher... <laughs> it's great. I really, I commend you guys. You really look hard on it. There's a lot thought into it. There's a lot of. Um... We accomplished many things by helping the employees with visual impairments at BISM. First, we were enlightened by the amazing abilities of persons with visual impairments. We learned that they could perform so much on their own via the use of assistive technology. Our most important accomplishment, however, was that we empowered these employees to do a job that has been unavailable for them in the past 30 year history of BISM. This will lead to lasting impacts on their confidence and their lives.